Welcome to Rapid Fire Reviews. Uh, today, we're starting this off a little bit differently. Obviously, you guys can see my face. That's for a couple of reasons. Uh, this is a new video format that I really wanted to start, where it's just gonna be very informal, me talking to you guys so you can see my facial expressions, as well as uh, I wanna be able to have conversations or, or conversation topics with my friends. Uh, with me today, I actually have my friend Robert. Robert, come on in. <laughs> uh this is my my buddy robert uh you're looking good uh and, and today we're gonna talk about the 1911 platform um we just got back from the range and i have a bunch of b-roll to, to show you guys a lot of sneak peeks at our next videos um but today i'm gonna be releasing a accompanying 1911 video and i just want to talk about what really brought us to the platform what really attracts us to the 1911 style of firearm because it's more than a hundred years old, but even after a hundred years, it, it still has a lot of relevance today. In fact, a lot of firearms are still taking cues from them. The 2011 continue, it's not only flavor of the month, but it's continuing to evolve. Um, and the 2011 is not going anywhere, same as the 1911. So with all that being said, um, Robert, why don't we, uh, why, why don't you start us off and tell us what, what started us loving the 1911 platform? So a lot of the starting for the 1911 was, I think we'd message each other originally saying, hey, we should probably buy one of these and looking into calipers about it. We really liked it being all metal. We really liked the ergonomics of it and the reliability of the 1911 that has held up for years and even decades at this point. And we'll put a video on the screen now <laughs> showing the reliability of the platform. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, I think what, and to, to explain the, the story of the 1911, and feel free to, to, to interrupt me, um, we were talking about the 1911. The 1911 has been my favorite firearm for a very long time. Um, when I was a kid, I played Bad Company 2, and the 1911 was a two-shot in that game. It was beautiful. I loved it. It was overpowered. Uh, and then, like, in every video game, I just noticed that I kept uh, I kept using it because it's just it's such, like, an iconic American firearm. Uh, and in video games, they always... The 45 ACP knocks them out of their boots, right? It's always, like, a two-shot kill. It's I, I love it. But when I got into Airsoft, I actually bought... My first Airsoft gun is this right here a Colt um, 1911 with the curved back strap, the CO2. Um, I absolutely love this thing. And uh, from there, I would say Airsoft really started a lot of my passion about firearms. So my first Airsoft gun was a 1911. Of, of course, I'm going to love it. Um, a quick note, I actually have Airsoft guns over here to the left side of my masked friend <laughs> uh i have airsoft guns over here uh, i haven't airsofted in 10 years but that's that's where like my roots started back here i have a almost like an lmg build that i'm going to be building in the future with a 20 inch barrel i got a crappy red dot on it but a bipod i can't show 60 round mags but i've got 60 round mags for it or 29 round mags times two for youtube's sake uh i got my mcx back here which i'm gonna have b-roll on i'll show you in the background of this video but anyway um the 1911 uh it it started out as an airsoft gun and it really sparked my entire gun journey but uh about a couple years ago right two or three years ago we were messaging each other we were like i love the 1911 and we don't have one and we live in the great united states of america we want we want a, a piece of american history right so i messaged this guy and i said we're buying 1911s and I kept going back and forth looking at Dan Wesson, like the specialist is what I used to own, which, oh dear God, I'll have a video on. That gun was, whew. Um, but we went back and forth talking about TRPs and specialists and like Nighthawks, just everything, Colts. Um, like this Colt, Gold Cup National Match right here. And um, eventually this, this young gentleman messaged me and he said, what did you say, the, the ball is in your court? I said, the ball is in your hands, and I gave you a picture of a receipt after I bought a 10 millimeter TRP operator. Yeah, so from there, I was like, okay, well, I can't let him one-up me like that, so I, I have to buy a 1911. It's my favorite firearm of, of all time. Why wouldn't I buy one? Uh, and so that night, I went out and I bought myself a Dan Wesson Specialist in 10 millimeter, because 10 millimeter is the best millimeter, second only to the venerable 460 Roland, which is a 
basically 44 magnum power 45 acp load absolutely crazy i'll have a video of that at some point but um yeah we, we bought 1911s and we love shooting them we didn't love shooting two dollars a bullet uh but that, that really sparked our, our our journey into the platform and currently he has a we have a trp uh with an x300 on it in 10 millimeter that i'll i'll show some b-roll you'll see at the end of this video and like i said i have this gold cup national match which tomorrow's video is actually going to be on um, i'm very excited to share that with you guys so uh my my masked friend what really what other attributes do you really enjoy about the 1911 platform so i think we did miss one important thing originally the reason we went for 10 millimeter as well is during the pandemic ammo prices 10 mm. millimeter didn't jump as much in price whereas everything else went up tremendously so we could actually buy ammo for it fairly affordably when nine to think about for yeah when nine millimeter went up to more than a dollar around or somewhere around there and 45 acp was what almost two dollars around mm. just ludicrous uh 10 millimeter was that price oh, i don't want to shoot a nine millimeter when i can have a 10 millimeter that's more millimeter right mm. uh, it, it also um if you live in like bear country 10 millimeter will penetrate a a head plate um, it's a much better hunting round, not that we're hunters, but for, for self-defense, um, if we're walking through the woods, having a 10 millimeter or a 460 Roland is beneficial. Nine millimeter, uh, doesn't do much against bears in case you didn't know. Um, but yeah, uh, so, so you answered what brought you to the 1911 and I've told about, uh, how much I enjoy the platform when I started my journey, but I, I wanted to comment on why I enjoy the platform so much. And like I said, I will have a video out later on today or tomorrow on the topic talking about why it's so popular, but um, I, I just wanted to hold this up. Um, the 1911, particularly a blued slide, uh, steel frame, steel slide. Uh, this has a comp on it, it's made out of steel, but a beautiful blued finish, wood grips. Um, it's a sexy American icon, right? Like just look at that and tell me you don't have a emotional reaction to it um if you don't then click out of this video it's not for you we're going to be very poetic about the firearm uh, or at least my next video is uh, literally ends with a poem um I, I love this firearm right and uh uh it's just it's so good looking um it's a single stack so it's very thin it's it's very comfortable to hold um it's it's extremely accurate it goes without saying the 1911 trigger is the i'll give you guys a close-up Still, after all these years, arguably the best trigger on the market. 2011s are close. They're still not as good. Um, the 1911 trigger made by in-house like Nighthawk or um, Let's Bear or, you know, a, a, any boutique manufacturer. They just have the best triggers and the best ergonomics on the market today. So I absolutely adore this firearm and I really do attribute it to the start of my firearm journey. Because without this Airsoft 1911 right here this would have never existed. And same with this night vision right here. Do you have anything else you want to add? Not really. No. <laughs> uh, I am going to have my, my masked friend on the, in, in videos in the future. He's got extremely fun platforms, not fun to shoot because they all cost $3 a bullet. But uh, yeah. Do you have anything else you'd like to say before we close this one out and we get on to uh, we took a bunch of footage earlier today of us shooting a bunch of different platforms, and we took some very fun and entertaining blooper reels about, you'll see right after the segment. Do you have anything else you'd like to say to my viewers? Uh, not really, except go buy a 1911. They're fantastic. Yeah, also, go. I think one thing we didn't bring up, actually now thinking about it, is the platypus. Being the platypus. As, living up to its name as a child between a 1911 and a Glock. That is that is a video that may come up in the future. For any of you that are wondering, go look up the Stealth Arms Platypus. It's a, it's the 2011 is a platform that's plagued by its magazines, and it is a 1911 that had a unfortunate <laughs> scandal <laughs> with with its side hoe, the the Glock platform, and it, it takes Glock mags. And I'm super interested. I'm probably gonna have a video of that if I ever purchase one. Uh, if this channel ever blows up, I'll start buying cool guns like that unfortunately we're poor because we spend all our money on firearms 
on 5.7 ammo. On, on 5.7 <laughs> ammo and 4.60 rolling, which is freaking $3 a bullet. All right. Um, thank you very much for meeting with us here today. Uh, on, to, on to our bloopers. Thank you for having me. Restart the video. Oh. Click the button and we can Yours, right? You do? Okay. Oh, I'm, I'm actually so worried. 17, 18. <laughs> I'm live. I don't know how to hold revolvers. I don't know. I don't know how to hold revolvers. <laughs> Am I gonna break my finger? No. Oh my god, this thing's so weird. Oh my god, it doesn't move. Twenty bucks. Away. You recording? Yep. Holy shit. Oh my god, I remember how to do it. Gonna start.
tiny. Where's the sight? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's getting really up into it. My chin strap's in the way. I need to get Neotech on it. All right, let's go. All right, tell us what happened here today. We cycled the gun. <laughs> we cycled the gun and got a malfunction. We chambered the first round and got a All right. malfunction. We're zero for, for one. Oh? <laughs> All right, show me that clear. Nice. Okay, one for three. Self-defense certified. <laughs> I cycled them.